their hand, all in the hand of Imam Ali salam Ghalib, the grandfather of Imam Mahdi salam. And that to prepare for the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi salam, there's no one that can hold the trust. trust, trust. And that that trust from Sultan al not the, the minor trust the minor of other, trust of other tariqah, 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 but the trust in which the Sultan al is holding, holding, holding was given to, given to Imam Ali as salam to hold for the arrival to give to his grandson Sayyidina Mahdi as salam. It's essential part of the deen to have that love and that respect that if you want to be with Sayyidina Mahdi as then you best best develop the uh, love for Imam Ali <laughs> that his nazar be upon us, his swords to be protecting us and that his faith and iman to be dressing within the heart of the believer. A drop of that faith is enough to move mountains. So Allah dress us in this holy month of Shabban that's opening, Shabban, the blessed month of Sayyidina Muhammad the 15th Laylatul Bara, Shabban Bara is, 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 is the spiritual new year, the night in which Allah writes the destinies upon the souls for the coming year. We pray that Allah give us a life in which to see that night and good character and good actions in which to receive that night. And that Allah dress us from Ahbab and Nabi the lovers of Sayyidina Muhammad the lovers of Ahlul Bayt, lovers of Ahsab and Nabi lovers of awliyaullah fi sammahi wa fil And that to count us among those ashaqeen Ya Rabbi increase that love if you're going to write with your Divinely hand, just write a little bit more that we are going to be even more ashaqeen, more love, lost in that love. For only that love will save us from these difficulties. That love is what connects us. You never know that when you talk what people are understanding. That's why Prophet taught to keep repeating, keep repeating. We said last night that the miraj is very simple is to enter into the heart of Prophet and that from the essence is Atiullah which is the reality of Rajab. Rajab subhanahu man huwa khalaq nur is a, a light that Allah wanted to manifest this light, I was a hidden treasure wanting to be known. Atiya Rasul is to obey and to follow the Messenger of Allah and that's all the messengers, doesn't matter what religion someone's following. Allah's order was, follow your Prophet that they are the guides and the example of that reality. And so Atiya Rasul is the reality of Shahban and Ulul Amri Minkum is Ramadan, that everything going to manifest means this secret of light of Rajab, Allah gave it and deposited it into the reality of the souls of Prophet For his soul to manifest that all creation will be coming from your soul, that it cannot come from Allah there is no partnership with God. So it's called a universal soul, there's a soul in which all lights all creation manifesting from that reality and that we are its manifestation by Ramadan that reality is manifesting. And the easiest way to enter into that reality so then they describe it as the essence is Allah The presence, there's a room for us to understand, in that room is a presence and that room has a door. Where Allah says, enter the home through the correct door. Whose home? Your home? Why Allah cares if people come from your front door, from your back window? But Allah's home, which is what? Qalbil Mu'min Baytullah. So Allah directing for my home, come to the correct door. Because in my home is the Divinely Presence. So the Qalbil Mu'min Baytullah. 
So then the house is Sayyidina Muhammad is the heart is Prophet The essence and reality inside the heart is Allah's likes, Divinely presence, Divinely blessings. The door are the wa ulul amri minkum, those whom are of the muhabbat and love of Sayyidina Muhammad They are the doors to the heart of Prophet Means if we come to the door of the heart of Prophet as soon as you come to them with love, you come to them with character, good character, their face will bring you in. They don't need your amal, they don't need anything from you. It's very logical, it's not something complicated. When Allah builds one of them, makes them to be extreme ashiqeen, so much in love with Prophet that their entire being is filled with the love and everything they do is then related to Hubba Rasul, the love of Sayyidina Muhammad the propagation of the love of Prophet every word is about the love of Prophet because everything within them is from that reality. As a result their face goes out to the world that if you look at their face, their face will grab your light and grab your soul and you will be present with whom you love. So because they're ashiqeen, they are present with Prophet at all times. Their arwa is, is filled with the love The Prophet gave them the title, these are my ahbab, these are my lovers. When you look at them, their, their light from their face will grab your soul and bring into their presence. We said before we're talking in the room, they say it's like, is it complicated shaykh or somebody lift somebody and take them and put them somewhere? I said, no this is complete autopilot because the soul is locked with whom it loves, it merely looks at you, pulls the light from you, puts it upon them and their soul is already with whom they love. In an instant, in an instant. It's not something difficult and you think that when they're taking your light into that presence that you're not being cleaned? That could they take something dirty into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad It's impossible. They clean, they wash, they purify all the character and they present. And in that room, in that reality Prophet takes their light, bless their light and takes to the presence of Allah and dresses them and blesses them from that reality. So means these, these nights and these realities and all the, their teaching is of good character. If you think, okay how many zikrs I gotta do, when I gotta pray exactly, how many rakahs I gotta pray, when I gotta do like this, I gotta do like this. They can see your sickness, they see that you think your amal will raise you. You can pray 10,000 years and you'll get nowhere in this reality. This is not a reality you achieve by your salah, this is not something you achieve by your zakah, this is not a, something you achieve by going for hajj. This is a ni'mat and a gift from Allah whom Allah guided and granted a light, Allah granted and no one can take it away and no one can deny it. Allah gives what He wants to give. This gift of hidayat and guidance is what Allah wanted for the nation that when you accompany them they will uplift you into the presence of whom they love and whom they love is whom Allah loves and with one instant of a nazar they can pull into that presence. So when they hear that you think that your amal will raise, that your prayers will raise you, that your zikr will raise you, no, no, you do that because Allah ordered you to do it. But if, if you're a beginner you don't understand, you think it's all your actions are going to get you somewhere. Someone advanced shouldn't be thinking like that, that they think that their salah are going to do something, that their zakah are going to do something, that their prayers are going to do something especially in their presence. What do you think you're going to get with that? That you're going to uplift yourself, that you're going to pray in such an amazing way that God going to be amazed. Oh my God, give this person a miraj right now. <laughs> we live in this world. 
This is all based on love. Keep the company of those whom Allah loves and that Prophet loves because they love them and they love them. Minhi wa minhum that that light from them and my light from them means you won't be able to differentiate that love. They are the reflection of the one whom you love and Prophet's reflection upon them, that's why you love them, that's why people are attracted to them, that's why people want to accompany them. They are the reflection of that reality. So when we took a path of negation, we negated at every moment, I'm nothing Ya Rabbi, my prayers are nothing, my zikr is nothing, my awrads are nothing, I'm just doing them for the sake of imitating, imitating. But what I'm really doing is I'm sitting here with love Ya Rabbi, I know that my love will save everything. My love will bring me. These, these guys pray a lot, I can't pray like that. They do zikr in tens of thousands, I can't do like that. They give in tens of thousands, I can't give like that. They negated themselves, how am I going to do anything that would impress you Ya Rabbi? I will sit here and just imitate, Allah, 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 Allah. but let my love save me. If Allah finds sincerity that that servant really believes they're not going to be able to make it with their actions. And they're sitting there with their bags packed just out of love. In an instant an ayatullah comes like a flash of light upon their soul, immediately hit and lift them up. It's faster than the speed of thought. This is not something you climb and, and achieve and get into. All that is needed is Allah find sincerity in the servant that they have sincerely negated themselves. They never show themselves in front of people. They don't pray excessively to impress people. You should be impressing Allah Not people, we're not those people to want to be known that we're praying, oh my God look how long he prays. Even people come to accompany the shaykh to see that, I wonder what the shaykh, does he like pray all night long? And then they watch and say, no he doesn't. I wonder what the shaykh is eating, does he eat like super spiritual foods? So no he ordered kebab. <laughs> does he have like super like energy drinks? So no, <laughs> only get a soda. It's not that, it's nothing from the physical. This is just Allah's grant, that's why we're reciting all this not. This is Allah's love, their love was accepted. Their negation was accepted. They negated themselves with sincerity that, Wallahi Ya Rabbi I'm nothing and abdukul ajeezu da'eefu miskeenu zalimu jahal and if not by your grace I would have been in Jahannam. I know that at every moment in my life it's Allah's rahmah and grace that's saving me. If Allah says, if that's truly what you believe, in a moment I send a light upon you and lift you in a second with that light. And you'll be with whom you love. When the anayat comes and the light comes and they take you to the presence of who you love, can you ever be taken away from that? Who you love is so great and so powerful and so blessed and so amazing that how could you ever be lost from that love of Prophet Nothing. If Allah grants that light is taken and move immediately into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Prophet then takes and cleans and purifies that light, blesses that light. And that's what Allah describes that Prophet is a hudan, he's a guide, he'll clean you, bless you, wash you, purify you, teach you that which you knew not. Means the entire light of Prophet's entire nazar become upon your light and make your light to be Muhammadiyoon. And wherever you go you are the reflection of Sayyidina Muhammad mm. upon this earth. If you sit with them at every moment they are in a mirage, at every moment they're in a new tajalli moving as, as Sayyidina Muhammad is in continuous mirage to Allah Not the one only far away but he could be right in front of your nose. You never know whom Allah gave that reality to but 124,000 must be on this earth at all times 
and they reflect that light. To sit with them you'll be dressed from a mirage, to eat with them you'll be dressed from the mirage, to pray with them that when you negate who you are and that your importance of your salah you'll be dressed from their salah and from their reality. And these are the people of Qadr, they're in a continuous mirage. We described before that what Prophet achieved because Atiullah, Atiya Rasul Amri Minkum, what Prophet achieved of the mirage when, when he went back to his Creator was Raja. Means that 27 it's secret, Shabban is 72. Nine times eight because when he went into the kingdom, Shaban is the kingdom of Allah is the kingdom of Sayyidina Muhammad So Rajab is the essence of the light. The mirage is when Prophet moves into that reality dressed from the heavenly kingdom then the blessings of Shaban is now that is the kingdom of Allah The kingdom of Allah is Sayyidina Muhammad light. Those lights and those blessings Allah wants to give to everybody and, and then determines fast in Ramadan. We said before, why fasting? Is there a scholar that can answer why is it fasting? Allah wants to make you read the Qur'an, really that's it, it could have been ordered at any time. The reality and haqqaiq of, of the psalm and the fast was Allah wants to dress the nation from these realities. If they're not going to achieve the reality with their action, but the only action that has the greatest reward is actually fasting for God. When you fast Allah dress you with, with what an angel or a prophet doesn't know, means Allah is not limited by any rule. So he wants to give the dress of the miraj, wants to give the dress to Ummat Muhammad then make your nation to fast in Ramadan. So all of the manifestations of the miraj and the kingdom of Allah to be dressed upon their soul, blessed upon their soul, this huge ni'mat. And Laylatul Qadr is then the dress of the miraj. When the nation sits for Laylatul Qadr and observe the nights of power, they're taking from the dress of the Israhi wal Miraj that is a eternal dress, not one time, continuous miraj into Divinely Presence. And as soon as they sit for Laylatul Qadr, they're in a continuous dress of that miraj of Prophet So then the real Qadris are these awliyaullah that they were dressed from Laylatul Qadr 25 years ago, 30 years ago. And then Allah salam on here Hatta Middha al Fajr that in every day they receive the salams of a thousand months in their one day. Means 30,000 blessings come upon their soul every day. And then people say, why you say alayhi salam when Allah said, salam on here Hatta Middha al Fajr, Allah giving them salams. Who? All the qadari. All the people of Qadr Allah gave them salams. Why would He not give salams to Ahlul Bayt and Ashab al Nabi So it means those who achieved Allah's Qadr alayhi salam, Allah salam, Allah's peace and light and realities are dressing them all the way to their fajr at every fajr of every day of their existence on this earth. Every ni'mat upon them is dressed 30,000 times anyone else. Then you see that when you sit, what are Allah going to dress? Or when you see them, you don't even have to sit in their personal space. When you see them from a distance, what Allah dresses upon the soul, what Allah blesses upon the soul, what difficulty Allah takes away by means of that reality. And what blessings come to people based on that reality. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us with the welcoming of Shaban and mm. Mu'azzam that immense blessings, immense lights that give us a life to see Laylatul Bara and the coming of uh, Shaban the third, fourth, and fifth, the birthday of Imam Al Husayn, mm. Imam Zain al Abidin. And Imam Sayyidina Abbas alayhi salam 
on the 3rd, 4th and 5th of Shaban we'll be celebrating Thursday, Friday, Saturday night it'll be a little bit past that because the 3rd should be coming in on Tuesday. But to observe that weekend is a great and a grand weekend of Ahlul Bayt and the birthday of immense Ahlul Bayt that by means of our showing our love Ya Rabbi let us to be with them. Mm. Not by our amal but by our cake. Mm. Mm. Yeah I'm not coming with my salah to offer you Ya Rabbi but I brought a nice cake. Please, as a sign of my love, I brought some water, I brought some food, I brought myself. I'm trying to come through this door of love, let me to be with them. That nothing in the way of love is ever lost. We pray that Allah address us and bless us. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Amen. Ya Rabbana Alameen.